Gary Butler is a member of the research team that developed new guidelines for breaking bad news to people with intellectual disabilities. Here, he reflects on some of the research findings. Sometimes, people with intellectual disabilities are not told that their mum or dad is dying. People with learned disabilities want to be told what's going on. So why not? Uh, they're, they're all the par parents and carers think they're protecting their children and stuff. Well, the, the harsh reality is, isn't there. They, they're, they will find out sooner or later. What do you think about people with intellectual disabilities not being told that someone in their family is very ill or is going to die? It'd be unfair on that person, I think, not to be told. Because they're not, they're not given their own dignity and their human rights. People with disabilities do have rights, you know. It's just not normal people. Just because we're different, don't make much odds. Gary, what would you say to the many carers and professionals who are worried that bad news will be too upsetting? Well, that would be part of the process. Again, you're going to find out that sooner or later. That person got to be allowed to grieve, whatever the case. And what about worries that the person with intellectual disabilities won't understand? Yeah. I mean, I've been to quite a few, quite a few funerals where it's, everyone think, was thinking, how do we do this? How do we do that? Well, I've, I said, well, I've always said to everyone, if you've got something bad to tell me, I'd rather you just come out and tell me than hide behind something. Because a lot of people with disabilities do understand people. Because they've got feelings as well, but that seems to be forgotten about. What is your advice, Gary, for carers and professionals about breaking bad news? Well, if I, if I was to put that on a plate, I'd say, what I'd have to say is this. Ta take the per person's level of disability into, uh, into this account, but don't let that be the overriding factor of you not telling them anything. And what, what the level of understand, uh, what their understanding is. That way, you both, as from support worker to carer, you both feel happier. But surely it would have been a, it would have been a big burden for the support workers to be carrying around and not tell someone. Just because we have disabilities, it doesn't mean we're not human. We're not robots. You can't buy us in the shops. We're just different, but it's still normal.